Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Before, quick update, I will be working on uploading every single Tuesday and every single Friday for all of you guys. That way you don't have to be looking up or waiting for the notifications and or trying to guess when I will be uploading again. So I'm going to try to stay to that regimen of uploading every Tuesday and every Friday. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe. And um, yeah, let's move forward with your reading, Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of June 2018. All right, Virgos, general energy for the month of June. You have the Queen, oh, sorry, the King of Cups. So the King of Cups as a general energy, this is past and passing. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now the King of Cups usually signifies a water sign. You may be dealing with the water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Uh, this is a person, because it is coming up as a general energy, you may be dealing with the water sign nonetheless as a general energy. Um, do not fear to open up and actually listen to your intuition, Virgos. I feel that for the month of June uh, 2018, you guys are going to be more receptive. You're going to be more open and almost like very attentive, paying very close attention to the way people communicate or even how they act. Um, there's this connection or this feeling of almost like, you know, like when the bunnies are hearing something that their, you know, their ears go up. Um, that's kind of how I see you guys for the month of June. So I feel that you guys are going to be very sensitive to energy. Um, paying very close attention to people's uh, one thing is what they say and another thing is how they actually you know act or what they do with action so I definitely see you guys very more methodical in, in looking how people are interacting around you now your next card here is the six of swords the six of swords is definitely talking about for some of you Virgos you may be um, traveling or they may be a desire or hope uh, for some type of road trip, but I definitely do see you guys progressing and moving forward. Now, I do see water in this card, just like the King of Cups. So I feel that for the month of June, you guys may be very receptive. Again, like I said, very sensitive to energy. But at the same time, I definitely do see you guys more emotional or being more available in regards to emotions. Being more sensitive is what I'm hearing. Now, your next card is, wow, you guys. <laughs> okay, so you have the Queen of Cups here. So the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups as the general energy. This is definitely talking about a soulmate type of connection coming for you guys. You're coming towards you. For some of you guys, it could be a rep There's a lot of water and you guys are an earth sign. So I feel like you guys may be very sensitive. Again, pay very close attention to your um, intuition, but also pay very close attention. I feel like you guys are being guided uh, spiritually. Uh, I feel that for the month of June, you may be very prone to having deja vus or perhaps you're already experiencing that or having this feeling like, you know, something's going to happen before it actually happens. Um, pay very close attention to that because I feel that you guys are going to be guided for the month of June. Now, your next card here is the King of Wands. The King of Wands could be a fire sign. Fire sign would be Sagittarius. Uh, Sagittarius, um, Aries, or Allele. Um, I feel that this could be a father figure. Uh, for, for, some, for some of you guys, it can be that you were more connected to the mother figure um, because she was perhaps more emotionally available. She was more emotional. She was more sensitive. Um, and the father figure uh, perhaps is, you know, that of a fire sign or could represent take on the energies of the king of wands which the king of wands is someone that's very active uh in regards to work it's like they submerge themselves in work they're not as sensitive um perhaps even in the way they speak they could be extremely blunt uh a bit disrespectful and i feel that for some of you guys um you may be experiencing the energy of having like the influence of the father figure or mother figure for the month of june uh, for others of you, it could just represent that the father figure or the mother figure is very prominent in your life and almost the feeling like you're, they could be a bit overbearing or you feel like they expect too much from you. If in fact you are the father or the mother figure, 
uh, just understand and know that when it comes to children, um, you don't have to be as standoffish or cold. Um, yes, you can set rules. You know, Virgos are all about being methodical, analytical more than anything. But I feel that there is a need for you to tap more into your feminine. So if you are a, a male or a female, it doesn't matter. Uh, you could be a female and take on more of the masculine qualities of a Virgo. And for the month of June, it's going to be very necessary for you to be more sensitive to what other people, uh, even how they communicate or how you express yourself when people are coming to you for advice or trying to talk to you. Uh, be mindful about the way you express yourself because you could come off as um, very... Like it could be the messages or the way you communicate c come off as misunderstandings and you can actually accidentally offend someone without really wanting to offend them. Um, so again, be very mindful in the way you express yourself. Now, because you do have uh, two kings here with the king of cups and the king of wands um, and a queen, there's a lot of, um, you're going to be very surrounded with family members or um, people that are much older than you, than, that you respect and you admire, um, but they're going to be extremely prominent for the month of June. So it could be one of two things. It could be that um, you are actually going back home or you're moving in back with your parents um, and they may become a little bit overbearing. Um, they can be extremely strict. Um, and even if you're 30 something and you feel like they're still treating you like a child, it's not so much that they're in the wrong Virgo, but just understand that sometimes if you are in the more immature type of energy, um, they're doing it only to the best of your interest because there is something about you that does need maturity. So again, like I said, try the best you can. Um, I do see a lot of rumors surrounding you. So be careful. Uh, be careful in your surrounding and the people that you trust or confide in. This is including friends. Um, particularly a younger type of energy or they could be like I said 30 something and be extremely immature don't go telling them secrets because I do see when I see more than one king it usually signifies rumors especially if it's queens as well um, nonetheless because it is masculine type of energy I do feel that it's more prone to gossip um, in a very disrespectful way or in a way that would hurt your image or reputation so just be very careful with that okay now your next card here is the two of wands okay so for some of you virgos you may be dealing in fact with a water sign and perhaps a person from the past that was a fire sign sagittarius aries or leo may returning to you or may be reaching out to you and trying to communicate with you nonetheless what the cards are telling you is that um if there was a reason why they walked out of your life, as an example, life was just, it just happened. Uh, for instance, they had an emergency and they had to move country or they had to um, pretty much switch profession or something like that. That was major and they couldn't really, they couldn't really do anything about it. Um, then be receptive to that type of energy. Nonetheless, if it's just because their relationship didn't work out and they try to reach out to you now, uh, spirit is telling you walk away from that let go of what's no longer serving you okay because you don't want to go back to the same thing you don't want to go back uh, to having to deal with those same type of issues that you dealt with in the past there is something about immature type of energy so this could be you Virgo or this could be the person that you're dealing with that may be reaching out to you um, and this is definitely a person from the past because you do have two kinks here I definitely see and it's not your energy I definitely do feel that if you in fact are, it, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but if you have um, an interest in someone and you're intimidated because you feel like they actually have more than one suitor, then the answer is yes, they do have a lot of suitors. They do have options, but they're definitely looking towards you. So the advice here is definitely take the mature type of approach. Um, try the best you can. Again, 
um, not be so analytical so in your head and try to tap into your energies and into your intuition for the month of June as I definitely do see new developments there is progression with the six of swords and there is opportunity to connect with someone on a deeper level with the two of wands this is definitely talking about partnerships but again like I said do not make the mistake of going back to the person from the past okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share and comment if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon